Gym owners, health club owners, there's a recession coming. How do we beat it? How's it gonna affect the gym industry? What are we gonna do? Is my gym gonna shut down? How am I gonna win during this time? And what's gonna happen to the gym industry as a whole as we move into 2023? Welcome to the Gym Launch YouTube channel. My name is Kale and I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And we have helped over 5,000 gyms over the almost a decade now grow and scale their businesses, help them reach more people, change more lives, and build wildly profitable gyms. Today, I wanna to talk about something that's really near and dear, I think, and top of mind for a lot of people across multiple industries. But because we're in the gym industry, let's talk about gyms. And today is not gonna be about doom and gloom. And don't mind my dog right here. Rogue, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about, and I'm gonna go through multiple points right now about the recession, what you can expect in the gym industry, and ultimately how we can determine what the outlook is gonna be now, basically how can we predict the future. And then what I wanna do is I wanna give you three key steps to beat any recession, period. And so if you wait to the end, I'll walk through those exact three steps that you can do to absolutely crush it, which are the same three steps that the gyms that we served and helped grow and grow bigger than they were before during COVID. So they grew to higher than pre-COVID numbers using these three simple strategies. And I'm gonna walk you through it at the end. So number one, let's talk about the recession. So in order to predict the future, we need to look to the past because the past repeats itself. The best way to do it when we look at financial issues and financial recessions, um, depressions, and issues along those lines, we need to first kind of look back and historically see what was the impact of these times. Well, the easiest way to look back, we're not gonna go way back, is just simply 2008. So the housing crisis and the bubble and what happened, how was the gym industry affected? Was there a major decrease? What were the impacts for them? Well, good news is gyms during that time only dropped 1%, 1%, that's it. I have no idea why, it just did. What's really interesting about that is people during that time frame, 2008 through 2010, when there were literally people in New York that were throwing themselves off buildings, committing suicide, the rest of the world was like, well, we still need to make sure that we're healthy and we're fit and they still made that a priority, which is great news for the gym industry. It's really even more important to look at the short-term aspect, right? When we look at this, in 2020, we had mandatory shutdowns for gyms. And maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like gyms right now have forgotten that just two years ago, we were told that we had to be completely shut down. What happened to that? How did we forget about that? I talk to gym owners every day and for some reason, no one acts with a sense of urgency like someone's chasing them, like 2020 just happened. And they think that it's just gonna be all good to go. Well. Our goal is that it is, but what happened was unforeseen and unpredictable, but it proved that it could happen again. But right now, if we look at a recession, we're in a much better spot than being told that we can't actually help people live a healthier life. Regardless of your political views, we all understand as gym owners, we're out there trying to serve people and we're trying to make them healthier to ultimately help them look better naked and live a longer life. And when you're told that you can't do that, that's really hard, right? It has a major impact. When 20 to 30% of gyms shut down completely in the industry, Industry during that time frame, that is way worse than the 2008, 2010 financial crisis. So when we look forward to 2023, I want you to feel very confident knowing that you can put yourself in a position to not only win, but absolutely dominate even through an economic downturn. Whether it's a really deep recession or just a simple downturn, no matter what, just understand that people will still put their health as a priority. Even more so, and I would argue this, even more so after COVID, because when people were locked down, they were told they had to stay home. They could couldn't have community, they couldn't be around people. We are still feeling the remnants of that and we are still feeling the rebound effect of people being locked up and told they couldn't hang out with people. They want that community. They wanna be around other people. They want to enjoy the things that they did pre-COVID and nothing's gonna change in 2023. People still yearn to be around other people. They still need that accountability. They still need nutrition. They still need the fitness. They still need experts to show them how to do it. So good news is no matter what, whether it's an economic downturn or recession, until the world changes their standards for how they see beauty. Meaning as soon as the world changes their standards to seeing overweight, obese, unhealthy people as the supermodels of the new age, until that changes, people will always want to lose weight, no matter what. Okay, so you're in a good spot as a gym owner. Now, how do we ensure without a shadow of a doubt that you absolutely crush it even during an economic downturn? Well, there's three very simple steps and I'll walk you through that right now. And the third one may sound dumb, but it's probably the most important, so stick around to the third one. Number one, and this is very, very, very important. And most people screw this up. Almost every business screws this up, regardless of the industry, but gym owners especially screw this one up. During an economic downturn, you need to double down on your marketing and you should actually try to spend more. And here's why. What's the first thing everybody cuts? Marketing. 
That's the first thing. They look at it and they're like, eh, I'll just work on referrals. I'll live off referrals. But here's the deal. Churn is gonna happen regardless. So people are going to leave the business. So no matter what, if all of your competition just decides to stop marketing or most of them cut down on their marketing spend, guess what? That just means more for you. So double down, reach more people. You'll get more people to come in. And if you have the right mousetrap on the back end and you're profitable when you acquire them, you're gonna grow exponentially during this time. And you're gonna be able to gobble up a ton of your marketplace simply by doubling down. There's a business owner that built in Bootstrap strapped to over $100 million in sales by doing this. And he ran marketing for other other industries. And when his clients would come to him, they're like, we want to cut marketing during the 2008, 2010 financial downturn and recession. He literally told them, no, we're going to double your ad spend. And every single one of those companies came out three times better than they did prior to the economic downturn. And the reason why is because he doubled down on marketing. So that's number one, double down on your marketing, go hard. Number two is to sell more than just a service. If you are a one trick pony, you are going to struggle during an economic downturn. You must have multiple options. If you're a large group training facility, you should also have semi-private for the people that can afford it. You should all be also be selling products like supplements, apparel, anything you can think of as well. You should be selling specialty programs, add-ons, and potentially personal training. But the first step is obviously that's only if your large group is really good, then offer other things. But the good news is, is no matter what types of service you're offering, you should always be selling products. So here's the cool part. If you want to double down on your marketing, a really easy way to do that is to offset your marketing costs by selling products. So our clients use Prestige Labs, which is our company. And the reason why they use it is because we give out 40% commissions. They're able to sell high quality products that are uncompromised in today's world. And they'll be able to do it without buying inventory. It's drop shipped directly and it's easy to sell. And it lines up with the nutrition programs that they provide for their clients. And by doing that, they get 40% commission on these products so that they can offset their marketing. We have a saying inside of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs that winners don't pay for marketing. And the reason why is because they sign someone up on service on $600 and then literally on Saturday, so they sign them up on Tuesday, on Saturday they sell them supplements, 200, 400, $600 packages of supplements and they get 40% of that and they get it paid out to them every seven days. So that's why people do that. So if you are not doing that, you're going to be way worse off than the gyms that are. So if you wanna be ahead of the curve and you wanna be winning, make sure you're selling products. If you wanna become an affiliate, there's a link down below. It's completely for free, join today. We'll train you for free. We'll walk you through exactly how to do it. We'll work with you and your team to show you exactly how the supplements work, why they're uncompromised, and how you can start selling them effectively inside of your facility. Now, last one, most important, above all else, you have to go hard on your customer service, hard. While everyone else is just trying to scrape by and trying to do the bare minimum because they're squeezing and they're like, oh, I hope people don't leave, you have to go out with an abundance mindset and give back to your clients. You need to hold internal plays, you need to hold events, you need to reach out to them and texting them, you should be sending them handwritten cards, you should be checking in with them constantly and figuring out ways that you can over deliver. Now, here's Here's the beautiful part about this is if you double down on your marketing, you have the right mousetrap on the back end and you're selling more than just service. So you're increasing your profit margins. You now have higher profit margins that you can give back and use towards your clients, which will then increase the LTV and retention of your clients. It's this beautiful circle of business life that allows you to continue to grow. And the more you pour into your clients, the more they appreciate the service, the more they take it seriously, but more importantly, the more they're going to tell other people. So not only are you going to double down on your marketing and get people that don't know you, but you're going to now get a whole bunch more referrals during a time when other gyms are squeezing their pockets, cutting their marketing spend, and they're doing way less for their clients. This is how you win. Now, some of y'all, if you're watching this, if you're smart, which you are, you're probably thinking, well, no shit, Kale. Those are the three things I should be doing, whether it's in a downtime or a good time. You're right. You should do it all the time. You should double down on your marketing. You should make sure that you're selling more than just service. And you should be going hard on your customer service. And if you do that, you will win. This is how our clients win. And this is how you will win if you follow this. So hopefully this is valuable for you. I I appreciate you. As a former gym owner myself to a gym owner watching this, I really love the fact that you are out there changing people's lives. I no longer have that direct impact of being able to work with people hands on and actually see that. So I have to live vicariously through you. For every gym owner that's out there, if you drop a comment letting us know that this is valuable, I sincerely appreciate it. It's what keeps me going. It's what keeps our entire team going because we live off this because we're a business for gym owners by gym owners. And our goal is to help gym owners just like you reach more people, change more lives and build wildly profitable businesses. So if you find this helpful at all and you want to learn more about how we can work with you and partner with you to help you do all three of those things in 2023. You can book a call down below, leave your credit card at home. We're not going to try to sell you. We first have to see if we can even help you, what type of business you have. And if it makes sense, we'll take it from there. But also if you look in the description down below, we have a bunch of free content and free guides and frameworks that you can use that our clients use right now to help you go out, reach more people, change more lives and build a wildly profitable business. Again, thank you so much for your time and attention. I'll catch you on the next video.